I definitely have a man coming through. I just want to start off with this. I have a really, really strong man coming through. Uh, there's a son connected to one of those. Um, it's either Elizabeth or Ellen. I'm seeing the ELL names, and I don't know where I am here. So, for example, I see your grandfather behind you. The minute I'm right here, he's like, that's my granddaughter. You have to let her know that I'm here. And he's very protective over you. Keep in mind that I'm saying Pat or Patricia. And then keep in mind breast or susceptibility to breast cancer. His mom is also gone. Am I correct on that, Carrie Ann? Yes, she is. Yes, because he says my mama's with me, and I don't know who he's making reference to. I don't know if somebody liked Rose's, was named Rose or Rose. My Rose. grandmother was Rose. Was Hello everyone, I'm Susan Gerbeck from the Gorilla Skeptic Project. One of the tasks we're focused on lately are psychic mediums, people who claim to communicate with the dead. We call these people grief vampires as they feed off desperate, vulnerable people. There are several techniques that these grief vampires use to appear to be communicating with dead people. Cold reading, word play, hot reading, editing the video techniques, speaking very fast, um, remembering the hits and forgetting the misses, and sometimes just plain coincidence. In this eight-minute video, we're going to be focusing on one technique, hot reading. This video is Fox 2 from Detroit on June 2019. It is a morning TV show, the kind that are notorious for giving these grief vampires an infomercial. What we're going to do is watch the video together, and I'm going to pause and interject with comments and screenshots. I have included a link in the full vid of the full video in the description of this video. Some of you might want to watch the video first before we get into it and start going through it together. Um, see if you can catch everything that um, I caught. Possibly you will catch something else. Leave it in the description um, in the comment section if you do. That would be great. Okay, to set this up, I need you to understand what hot reading is. Hot reading is when the medium knows who they will be reading and do some research on them. Just that simple. But that can be done by directly looking things up on Google or social media. It can also be done by overhearing a story, maybe standing behind them in the elevator, in the bathroom, or someplace where you overhear something. Or you actually talk to friends or family or coworkers. And when a medium has already done a reading on someone and then they read them again, that's also considered hot reading. The medium in this case is grief vampire Thomas John from the Sting Operation Pizza Roll. He had, at the time of this reading, been in his own TV show on Lifetime called Seatbelt Psychic, which means he drove around people like a rideshare and then talked to their dead family. With some research, the gorilla skeptics discovered that these writers were actors. Anyway, Thomas John is in Detroit for a show, and he's promoting his um, show that night. I believe it's that night here on this morning show. He's been here before at least twice. Uh, remember, he knows that he will be on the show. He knows who the hosts are. He also knows he's going to get a friendly reception as if, he, you know, as he's been here before. Plus, he knows the news team needs to keep it friendly and light. No hard hitting news here. He will not be challenged and he knows it. The person we're going to be focusing on is the meteorologist Derek Keva. If you would like to pretend you're going to hot read Derek, pause this video, Google his name, look him up on social media, and see what pops up. His last name is spelled K-E-V-R-A. So let's begin. Watch Derek's body language as well. So we want to know if you're uh, hearing from anybody, and we feel like I always get to sit next to you, and so we feel like my... Uh, family is elbowing out the other people. So I'm moving. I'm going to move over here. Okay. And you tell us if this makes, how it works. Does what this do make you? a difference? Um, 
Okay. No, 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 we can. Yeah, Not let's really? see. Let, well, it just depends. Yeah, okay. I mean, we can we can sort of see. But um, Dina's Italian, so they're loud. No <laughs> yeah, matter where. super loud. And, uh, they want to be heard. Yeah, a couple times you've yeah had people come through, right? Yes. So, um, so just be open to everybody that you know who's living or past, and we'll just kind of see what kind of validations come through, um, who shows up, things like that. Um, I did want to kind of start more with you actually, and just see what I'm feeling with you because I feel like there's a couple messages. That Okay, so rearranging people is just silly. Thomas John does readings over Zoom, over the phone, over email, Facebook, and in cars. So also from the stage. So sitting next to the media makes no sense. Besides, he's going to hot read Derek, so it makes less sense since where they sit. Um, Derek is really open to this. He's engaged and friendly. The woman in the blue dress, as uh, Thomas John says, has had her family come through twice, at least. So that's at least two different shows. Thomas John wastes no time focusing on Derek. Uh, he knows that this is going to be a quick segment, so he goes right to it. Getting So um, I do feel like I have, um, this would be your um, maternal grandfather that I'm connecting with, okay? Mm -hmm. And um, when he comes through, um, he's also acknowledging, I feel like, a large family. So I don't know if there was like several siblings or if he if he had a lot of children, but he's he's acknowledging a large family. Yeah. yeah. Um, he's also I now I want to say just full disclaimer I'm not really the best at communicating with this type of energy, but there's also a dog in spirit for you. Oh. So I don't know I'm not really good with like dog breeds and stuff, but there is definitely a dog here that I'm aware of, and I don't know how it's really I don't know if it's like a family dog. Um, it's a female. Um, I would yeah. say a bigger dog, you know, um, bigger dog, light colored kind of. Um, I, I feel like she's definitely giving me the feeling of, of, of health problems at the end. So I feel like she's showing me like she had health issues, um, but she's showing me definitely being like connected to your family. I yeah. almost, well, yeah. Um, yeah, we had a dog, uh, Sadie. Okay. And then the maternal grandfather, uh, that's um, my grandpa who, who passed away about a uh, shoot 15 years ago. And yeah. Well, let's see. Um, I wonder if the dog could look something like this one. A large dog, kind of a light color. Hmm. Uh, well, I guess it could be. Let's see who it belongs to. Ah, this is a photo we took off of uh, Derek's mother's Facebook page. And we can see here it says that she was a very good dog, and at the end, which means she's died, and here's a picture of Derek and Sadie, and we took from Derek's Facebook page, and here's another part where it talks about what a good dog, um, pretty girl, which in case we didn't know it was a female, Sadie, that she was a good, good dog, and then it talks about Derek posts, thanks guys, it was pretty sudden. She was doing fine, then developed some kind of cancer, either stomach or blood vessel. She went down pretty quickly. She was beautiful and will always treasure her so much. Uh, keep in mind that word blood, because that comes up a little bit later. So when I want to talk also, I have a message Sadie. to give you for somebody. So I just want to, um, do you know Jack? Uh, I've I have a few friends named Jack. Yeah, this is yeah. more from your grandfather, though. Is there a Jack or Robert? Yeah, okay. yeah, an Uncle Jack. Okay. Yeah. Are these people though connected on this side of the family? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that Jack would be the son. Okay. Of so, um, it's it's for some reason I don't know why it's maybe it's just you're the person who's having the connection right now. So this guy that's coming through wants to give a message to you. And he's just basically letting me know, like he's he's watching. I don't know if he's like going through something right now or something. Um, do you also know too? Because I'm getting this. There's um. He's he is putting a nurse hat, um, like a medical image around your mom. So I almost <laughs> feel like I don't know if she took care of him. She, my mom, uh, was a nurse and then teaches nursing and is retiring, like tomorrow okay <laughs> so, so like her is she the oldest she's the oldest yeah, yeah. because um i just want to say i feel like he's just acknowledging um but it's also personal to him i feel like he's saying that either she helped take care of him or was around him towards the end i definitely feel from your grandfather that he knew that he was um
So do you know a Jack or a Robert? Now, if we had, if this was a cold reading, then you would say to me, well, you know, Jack and Robert, those are very common names. But this isn't a cold reading. This is a hot reading. Thomas John, in my opinion, knows exactly what he's talking about and who these people are. So if we look over here at an obituary for the grandfather that he's referring to, we see that there is a father of Kathy, um, Raymond, Robert, Jack, James, and Suzanne. So Kathy is listed first, which would make her the oldest. And then in order, Raymond, Robert, Jack. So there's a Robert and there's a Jack. These are all um, siblings of Kathy, which would be the uncles of Derek. So it was a little confusing whenever Derek was asked if he knew a Jack or if he knew a Robert. And he was talking about his uncles. So the nurse's hat, if we look at the Facebook page for Fox 5, that Derek shared a picture for Nurses Day of his mother and his grandmother wearing nurses hats. So I guess that might be where we get the information that she was that there's a nurse in the family. Well, it's actually two. And if we look at the um, social media of Kathy, that's his mother, we find out that she is a, a training nurse and that she worked in hospice for a while. So, you know, that wasn't hard. We found it on her own Facebook page as well as LinkedIn, as well as on the Derek Keva Fox 2 a Facebook page. And whenever you're looking at these older black and white or sepia pictures, they really stand out. So it makes it much easier for a person to be able to quickly go to also, the Facebook you, um, page and zero in on old do photographs. You have, is there, is, you don't have a Ronald? Uh, in my family? No. Um, There's okay. a Ron and maybe in this building. Okay. I don't know because I'm hearing the name Ronald. Um, or Yeah. I didn't hear Ron though. I heard Ronald. Um, um, so you, you have a you have a Ron connected to you that's more of a friend. Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah. But that's passed over. Yeah. Okay. He was a, a loud person. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Because it kind of just felt <laughs> like he pushed every. Did, did he die suddenly? Yeah. Okay. Um, I just maybe he's just connected more just to the energy here than I don't know because I hear yeah. it. It's kind of like um, for some reason I'm. Uh, um, I, I feel like he's he's showing me now like a really really big funeral. He he's basically um, it was like a ten second thing. He just kind of dropped in. I almost feel like he's he's got a personality where like he wants to take over. Um, <laughs> but he's he's just letting me know maybe if it can be told to his family that he's at peace. He's okay. Um, it was very quick, must be. So he didn't have a lot of time to like tell people goodbye. Yeah. Where I feel like your grandfather did. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Mm -hmm. That's absolutely right. Yeah. So about Ronald in the building, and Derek knows exactly what's going on because he's looking around at the other people in the building sitting next to him and, and the camera people whenever Ronald is mentioned. And, um, well, we did find a Ronald. We found a Ron Savage who had died in 2017, and he was obviously a very important part of the Fox 2 family. He died suddenly, according to this article we found, he was seemed to be a person with some personality and he was fun and people liked him. So there was probably a very large funeral for him. And um, it looks like it was very sad. So we found uh, also some tweets from Derek and they were talking about how much they liked the guy. They really actually loved the guy and he was fun and... He seemed like a great person, so it doesn't surprise me at all that that um, he would have had a big, f loud personality, and he was a good friend, and he died suddenly, and that the, the whole building, uh, you know, was affected by it. Um, I should mention that we found Ron really easily in just some normal searching to figure out why 
you know, who this Ron person was. That was really simple for us to find. It was right there on Fox 2 Detroit's Facebook page, right around the same places where some of the others were articles that we found, screenshots. But I should also mention that it wouldn't be difficult for Thomas John to go into the station, you know, hanging around a little bit before his his turn to go up there and talk to people and say, you know, I'm a medium and I feel I feel spirits around me. And, you know, I've been feeling something in this building since I've been here. I don't, I'm not quite sure what it is. Well, maybe somebody who does the hair or the makeup or the camera person or an assistant or who knows who could be there and say, yeah, you know, we had this guy here. His name is Ron and he was just this really great guy and he died suddenly and we think about him and or maybe they say they see spirits here or they see shadows and they think, I wonder if it's Ron. You know what I mean? It wouldn't be hard for him to just in conversation with somebody ask leading questions especially since he says that he's a medium and he communicates with the dead and he's getting a feeling about something, they could have volunteered that information and they might have said Ronald and that's why um, he was insisting that it was a Ronald and not a Ron. But there's, there's, you know, it could be this or that. So I think that's where um, that all came from. Do you know about from. the blood clots with the dog? Or the blo there was like a blood disorder with the dog. Um, I think that is okay. what, what. Yeah, yeah. that it, it, I, Sadie died uh, ten years ago. Okay, and I think that was how yeah, she died. Yeah, because something with the blood keeps coming up or yeah. something. Yeah. Um, do you? Is there a Michael? Uh, no. Okay, and I don't know if I'm getting that for you or you either. Do either of you connect with that name, Michael? Uh, it would be somebody who passed? Yeah, this is somebody that's coming through over here. Um, it's not a deceased person. And also, is there a Lenora? Oh my God, that is my grandmother's name. Okay. The oh one, my God. The okay. one who's married to my grandfather. But she's yeah. in the physical world. She's, she's alive, yeah. Okay. yeah. Whoa. Um, so, <laughs> I, I don't know, it could be, I'm, uh, I want to say actually it's weird, I think this guy is coming through for her. So it could very well be somebody that, you know, could be like an older relative you don't know or yeah. something. So, because um, if it's your grandmother, it could be like, I don't know who it's, but it, it felt like this guy came through, connected to her and stuff. And I'm sure your grandfather is acknowledging her too. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Um, that's yeah. not a common name. Lenora. <laughs> wow. Wow. That's, yeah, that's grandma. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Um, and, um, yeah, but I just, I feel like, yeah, there's a, there, there's, um, this grandfather that comes through is is just bringing, he he feels very proud of you and i think that's kind of like the reason that he's come through mm -hmm. um and um i want to say also too i see for some reason i see either you building a new house or there there's something i feel like there's something with a like a new house or something like that that i keep seeing yeah there's something that i'm picking up for you but i, I can't say it on live tv <laughs> oh. okay <laughs> what wait for that <laughs>
the grandmother, that sounds really like too much like a hit, which is what the comment they're going to be making is that that was just a little too bizarre because it's such an unusual name. But if you're hot reading and you've done a little research ahead of time, we found a Fox 2 um, article really quickly when we put in Derek Kev Kevra's name, immediately came up a inter not interview, an article that was written about a uh, priest who had performed a miracle on Derek's grandfather. And this article was from 2017, again, right about the time where all the other things were in 2017, we seem to be finding. And in that article, there's a little interview with Derek's grandfather's wife, who is Lenora. It says it quite clearly in the article. And if we go back to the obituary again that we saw of the grandfather, the first line says this, that, um, that her, the father, Raymond, was the beloved husband of Lenora, dear father of Kathy, Raymond, Robert, Jack, James, and Suzanne, so on. Oh, and I should mention that there are, he's a grandfather of 15, so when he says there was a large family, yeah, that's a large family. You've got 15 grandkids, and you've got all those other kids, and your wife's still, you know, so it is a big family. There's probably lots of nieces and nephews and cousins and, and so on. So the bit about the new house was interesting. I don't know where that came from. Maybe some kind of gossip in the, that maybe he had been, Thomas John had been talking to somebody with beforehand. And they said, somebody said something about Derek has been looking to buy a new house or I don't know, it could have been anything or, you know, just looking at the pictures that are on Derek's Facebook page, you can see he is pretty active. He's, you know, working on projects around the house and um, landscaping, and he's with friends a lot. So maybe just in haste, somebody could have said, you know, could have, he could have seen something that looked like he was moving or trying to find a new home or he'd found a new home. You know, he just moved on whenever he didn't get that quite right. And, oh, I also should mention that back when I wrote the article for Skeptical Inquirer about this, the link is in the description of this video, that Lenora was actually on one of the segments and um, Derek had interviewed her about home technology, you know, like setting up a Alexa or, or those kinds of things, smart, smart electronics in the home. He had done a little segment with his, his grandmother. So um, she has been on the show. I don't think he mentioned her name is Lenora, but he did mention that it was his grandmother. And so um, maybe he's forgetting that he did have her on the show. And, he, and so, so, so what there. What do you say to people who think, okay, well, you can maybe go and look up Derek's mm -hmm. grandfather. I mean, is that something that you post about recently? Or? I don't think my 86 year old grandma <laughs> yeah. is online is anywhere. On yeah, I don't right. think Lenora. I mean, you. you. No, no, right. no, I haven't, I don't think I've ever posted my grandma's name anywhere. And wow. we've never heard the name of Lenora, you've never right. said it or written right. a story about it or anything. Wow. Yeah. Amazing. And I think wow. also, too, you have to understand, too, I think it's good to have skepticism, you know, because there are a lot of people that say, you know, well, you could just guess things, and as soon as you say, you know, but I think also, too, you as the person who's, you know, because people can have different readings, you, you know, if it feels real to you, if it mm -hmm. feels like there's a connection, if it feels like it gives you that sort of sense of connection, then trust that. If it feels kind of off or weird or it's like this isn't really making a sense, it might be that, you know, you don't have a good connection with that person or something. That's you know? really yeah, that's nice. A, that's a good point wow. because you have to, because there's a lot of people out there who are... I yeah, mean, and attending. most people don't mean harm, but they might not be, uh, you know, it's, I, I find that I don't think there's a lot of people that are like, you know, you know, trying to scam people or something, but I think that there's people that maybe their gift isn't as developed or they right. need to, pr you know, so, but it should always feel good to you. That's, that's very comforting to hear that wow. Grant was proud of me. That, yeah, uh, that's, that's really, really nice. Yeah. He passed away when I was 18, so oh. he never got to see me do any of this. So wow. That's, yeah. Well, maybe well, he is you know. seeing it. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like he is. So in conclusion, I hope that you have written in the description and the comment section anything that you think that maybe I've missed. I feel like I've picked this pretty clean. 
<laughs> there's probably some things in here I did not pick up on and I'm happy to happy to uh, hear what you have to say. I do find it really interesting that Derek says that grandma's not online. She's not on Facebook and he's never said her name or posted her name anywhere, which is not true. He's Her name is in several places as well as on the segment she was on. And why is it important if grandma's on Facebook or not? I mean, that's just, just because she's not on Facebook doesn't mean the information isn't there. Another thing I'd like to point out is whenever whenever TJ makes a statement and then Derek confirms it immediately, like within a split second, TJ says, that's right. I think that's, that's a hallmark of um, hot and cold readers that they do that all the time with the person with the sitter. This, they, they confirm whatever it is that was just said as if that's what they meant. It's, it's a really interesting phenomena if you, if you're tuned into listening to it. Also, Thomas John talks about skepticism at the end, and he talks about how, uh, yeah, people could just make stuff up and just guess, or they they might be mediums so that they haven't developed their their um, skill yet so well, and they might harm somebody by by um, not being as attuned or you know skilled or whatever it is. What he's doing there is he's deflecting from the obvious hot reading that's going on. So he's talking about people guessing. He doesn't say, yeah, well, some people look things up and they just relate it as if they're getting it from spirit when actually they're reading their Facebook pages. No, he doesn't want to draw any attention to that at all. <laughs> I wonder why. And and again, as they said, well, um, the grandmother, Lenora, is not on Facebook anywhere. So I don't know how they could have gotten the name Lenora. Oh, man. You know, <laughs> It's incredible. So I hope you enjoyed this. I really enjoyed breaking these things down. It's it's a lot of fun of sorts. Um, you know, I wrote to Derek after I watched this video and I, because he posted on Facebook. He's the one that posted it up on Facebook saying, I'm speechless. My grandfather's watching over me. You know, platitude, platitude, platitude. And I wrote to him and I said, hey, you know, it's been a little bit of time now that you've had some time to think about it. Um, do you still believe that you're speechless, that your grandfather actually was talking to you? You know, and I said something like, you know, or, or do you think that maybe all this information was on Facebook or obituaries or something? And Derek never responded. Um, I wrote the article for Skeptical Inquirer and we we tweeted at Derek and put it on his Facebook page and all sorts of places to see if maybe we could get his attention and we never heard back from him. So as far as I know, I have no idea if he's read this article. I'm sure he's got to have because, you know, you got Google alerts alerts for your own name or somebody sees it and says, hey, Derek, did you see this? And he just didn't respond. I personally, I think that these people were told that you have to do this and you don't get to say, um, I don't really believe in mediums. <laughs> you just sit there and you smile and you nod and you, you're you pleasant and that's your job. Sad as it is, especially since Derek is a meteorologist, so he should be a person who has some science background, and I would think. So, um, you know, I don't know if I can blame him. He may have been told that's the way it is and you, you better make it look good. So... And when my article came out, what's he going to do? You know, admit that he didn't believe any of it and that he knew it was on Facebook and on obituaries. It's easier just to ignore it to keep your job and keep everybody happy. So I don't really know. But um, if you have comments, please, please, please keep them, write them in the um, comment section. I'm looking forward to hearing from you all. You guys have a great, great time Um uh, re-watching this video again <laughs> with all the pointers. Thanks, guys.